played a huge reveal in Star Trek Picard this week that the Founders are back. And yeah, this opened a lot of doors and possibilities. And I want to talk about one theory that's been going about online. But before I get into that, as always, I'm Al. This is the Geek in Review. And thanks for taking the time to choose to watch this video. If you do like it, leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel as well. But let's get to it. So there's a theory going about online at the moment that the very own Captain Riker himself is a changeling. And yeah, what do you think about that? Because there are several plot points or hints throughout the three episodes that we've seen that something isn't really right with Riker. And I just want to break down some of these and then completely destroy them at the end. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. So let's look at the first point, And this is pretty much straight away from his intro in the new season of Picard. Him and Troy are separated. He hasn't contacted her or hasn't made any attempt to contact the three episodes, at least as far as we're aware. And this does seem a little odd because obviously they're the big Trek love story, well, you know, outside Beverly and Picard this season. And when we seen them together in season one, we found out they'd survived the death of a child. And they seem to be doing pretty well considering. So... I want to know what's changed then that strained their relationship so much if they were doing kind of well after all that. Because he doesn't just mention that it's Troy that doesn't want him, it's his daughter as well, or doesn't want him, but doesn't want to spend time with him. So what's changed with Riker or what has he done if he's not a changeling that's forcing his family apart from him? Also, this explains another plot point. Why was there a changeling on the Titan? Now, yeah, of course, the changelings could be everywhere, but I don't think there's going to be that many of this rogue group that they could just throw a changeling on board every starship. And I mentioned in my review for episode 3, if you haven't seen it, there'll be a link at the end of the video. How did this changeling get on board the Titan? But he either had to be there by chance, and they do have changelings everywhere, or he had to know that they were going to be on board. And Riker is the only person that knew that they were going to be on board because Picard went to Riker for help not knowing that he was going to end up in the Titan. That was Riker's idea. And just by chance is already a changeling on board. I mean, it was by chance what was this changeling's mission if it wasn't involving the Riker and Picard thing. I mean, if Riker and Picard didn't get on board the Titan, what was this guy going to do? That's what I'm asking. Also, the inspection scene in the first episode, Riker does give the guy a sort of nod. A lot of people are saying it would be bad writing if two spies were nodding to each other, but what I'm going to say about that is, have you seen Picard season 2? It could just be that, it could be something innocent, it might not tie in at all, we might just be seeing things, I don't know. I just think it's a good little talking point. Also, if he is a changeling, it would explain his attitude change towards Picard, because at the end of the third episode, we see Riker do something that he's never done before. Talk down, dismiss Picard, and kind of put him in his place. And yeah, that really breaks with the character of Riker. Also, going back to the Titan thing, it was Riker's idea to sort of, you know, lie to get on board the Titan. And that doesn't come across as very Will Riker either. So, with the sort of lying and treating of Picard and the different changes in the attitude... I do think that it is a possibility that he could be a changeling. Because we've never seen Riker and Picard butt heads like this. I know that they're now different ranks and different times of their life. But yeah, the swing, especially with the start of episode 3 where you see them being so pally in the bar, that swing between Riker sort of dismissing Picard was a little bit too much. Again, it could be bad writing or it could be that this guy's a changeling. But... One other thing. There is one bit of information that counters all of this. If you remember back in episode one when Picard went to ask for Riker's help, he explained the code that Beverly had sent. And Riker knew what it was. He referenced what went on with the Borg in Best of Both Worlds in this code. And Riker knew what was going on. He referenced Best of Both Worlds and this virus code kind of thing. So that suggests to me that he was the real Will Riker in this scene. But again... It's all subjective, it could be bad writing, I just like a good TV video and I just wanted to get this off my chest. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think Riker's a changeling? Do you think the points that I made are valid? Or am I just wearing a tinfoil hat on this one? 
as always, we're going to have to wait and see. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching and please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm posting more videos and I'm going to be posting more Trek theory ones and getting into some good ideas, some bad ideas and some crazy ideas. I've got another one coming about the founders now that they're back. So yeah, if you don't want to miss that, subscribe to the channel and make sure you've got the notifications turned on. As always, thanks for watching.